Recording stopped.
honorable members. I'm going to switch off my my video so that I see the meeting. Uh, firstly, let me start by apologizing. I, I thought that the meeting is scheduled for five o'clock and not half past four. And, and I'm sorry about it. This is just a, a technical mistake because I never thought that the meeting started at half past, half past four. I'm sorry about it. Let me take this opportunity then to welcome all of you to this important meeting. This is a meeting of the select committee on COGTA to consider the C list from different stakeholders, especially provinces and municipalities in terms of the process to amend the Municipal Systems Act. This is indeed an important process because it takes us to the finality of the promulgation of the Municipal Systems Act in terms of its amendments. I have not received any apologies from anyone. Can I check with Moss, Moss our secretary? Can you ask whether there is any apology that we have received? Yes, Chairperson. Honorable Fisa has apologized, Chairperson. And we have also received an apology from the Director General of the Department. Thank you, Chairperson. Those are the only apologies. Yes, Chairperson. Yes, just looking at the attendance register here, uh, I see that uh, we're forming a quorum because uh, we are more than seven, eight members of parliament who are part of this meeting. Can I then take this opportunity after having welcomed everyone and apologize? invite the department a designated official to take us through the proposed amendments to the municipal systems amendment bill so that we know where we are and what are those technical aspects that we must take into consideration over to you a designated official recording in progress uh chairperson uh, frank jenkins here I'm a senior legal advisor at Parliament. And I, um, I compiled the CLIF chairperson uh, from last week um, on the instructions which the committee then, I see there's a hand chair. I don't know if I should carry on. I, uh, yes, I think we must carry on. Okay, thank you, Chair. Um, chairperson, let me, let me just jump into it straight, Chair. The, Clause one, the amendments there. There's a proposal that the department thought, the committee thought it could be considered the definition of secondment chairperson. And I use the definition that, that was given there, which is the Collins Dictionary Chair, but I made that comment there for the committee to consider because I, I'm i not sure whether it's necessary to define secondment. Um, it is a term used in the Public Service Act. Um, and I think, that should rather be the source of the meaning of that word. And, and in legislation, in any event, Chairperson, uh, we use an ordinary meaning of, of words. So to just use a dictionary term for it, um, Chair, I just want to put that there. I don't want to make the decision, but I, I, I've included it there, but I don't think it's necessary, Chair. Um, Chair, I can go on through all the clauses or I can pause after each clause. Uh, it's up to, you, up to the committee to decide on the procedure, Chair. Um, yes, I I suggest that uh, you, you take us through all the amendments and okay. all those that uh, we are going to pick up, the committee members will know them. And at the end, we, we can go back to those uh, amendments. Fair enough. Fair enough, Chair. Um, the second amendment, clause two, Chairperson, um, to delete sub B and to substitute with eight, that's a cross reference correction, Chairperson. Um, so there, there's not much um, in that chair. The, the next one also clause two of the bill. These are now changes to clause two of the bill as amended by the National Assembly. Um, senior manager chair, that, that whole section of senior manager actually deals with um, 
municipal managers and senior managers directly accountable. So that has been substituted to, to you to use municipal manager or acting municipal manager, not just senior manager to make it consistent with that clause um, in, in, uh, on page four of the bill. And just, just after that chair, and that's a definition or, or a change that goes throughout the bill is to change municipality with municipal council because the municipal council is the decision maker, not the municipality. Um, so, so there's not much in that chair. And then the last one in clause two, uh, to after prescribe to, to delete the inverted commas and the full stop, that is just a, a textual correction, a typographical correction chairperson. Um, so chair up to now, it's just really that, that definition that, that um, that's a policy issue or, or a substantive issue. Chair clause three, um, is just to, there was an additional, there's an addition that comes in. So we're trying to change the 1A to, to insert or just to correct it and then to correct all the, um, the numbering after. If we look at the bill, the bill itself speaks of 4, 4A, four and then it, it, it moves down. So we, what we've done is we've changed 4A to 5 and, and just to correct all the numbering chairperson. So, it, it looks like quite a lot of changes, but it's just numbering and it's just the way we do that uh, in, in the C list. Um, chairperson, the, the, the first one there that on page four, nine, yeah, in any case, we can carry on, Chair. It's, it's, chair, page five, uh, to delete clause four entirely. If, if um, that clause, is actually, it comes from the, 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 the list and uh, what we've done now, we've changed in any event, everywhere where municipality should be municipal council. So it's not necessary to have that clause four in the bill at all. So, so that's fine, Chair. Clause five, Chair. Um, again, it's, it's, it's numbering, Chair, that we're trying to create and then to, um, to include on page five there, Chair, when seeing the, see the, uh, on the second page to admit, after a person has been appointed as municipal manager or as manager directly accountable to the municipal manager and to substitute for after commencement of service. This, this changes, um, Chair, relate to, uh, it relates to the confusion that's caused to find out exactly when there's a, must the contract be signed, when, the, when exactly does uh, there's a municipal manager start commencing the services and so on. And there seems to be an ambiguity within the bill. Um, so, so we've tried to, to clarify that we've just done the after commencement of service chairperson. Um, then there was further, uh, ambiguity chairperson when the contract must be signed and there I've made another note. Um, that's that's point four chairperson on page six in line 26 to 27 chair. Um, there was a comment that there's a contradiction um, because it, at one point it says it must be signed by both parties before the commencement of service. And in another place, it must be signed within one month after his or her date of commencement of service. So that needs to be clarified. When, does, when, when do you sign the contract? Um, and we've tried to, to have a consistency just to be signed within one month of his or her appointment to delete that chairperson and to say after the commencement of service. Uh, so chair, I think this, this is just something that maybe the department can see if it works and if the uh, because this is what they've agreed upon in any event as well as the committee chairperson um chair the next month point five to insert non-renewable before fixed term is just to uh, that was the amendment that has to do with the renewableness of a contract of a municipal manager to say that it's not renewable so he, he or she will have to uh apply for the job fresh after the fixed term contract as aspires. It can't just be renewed. Um, and then chair, the next one is then the, the manager directly accountable to the municipal manager must be on a permanent basis. That's also in, um, in clause, clause five chair, um, a change that was, was created to make it sure that there's no discretion to either make it a permanent basis or a, a fixed term contract chair and then to delete the last subsection there, um, which 
deals with a decision that has been made whether it must be fixed term contract or whether it must be uh, indefinite or permanent chair. <clears throat> so all it does there, Chair, the amendment is just to make those senior managers on a permanent basis. Uh, chair, clause six, and then further one on as well, the, the change there to insert after misconduct, <clears throat> the, the, the aim to do in clause six there, Chair, is to ensure that, <clears throat> excuse me, when somebody resigns, or even before they resign, but after the commencement of disciplinary proceedings, to also put that person on a list so we are aware of it. Um, and there was uh, a, a need to clarify that um, chairperson because it, it, at the moment it reads, a municipality must maintain a record that contains the prescribed information regarding the disciplinary proceedings of staff members dismissed for conduct. But they also want to include there those who resigned prior to finalization of the disciplinary proceedings. So that's been included, Chair. We can go to clause 10 um, <clears throat> after that. That's the heading, Chairperson, to, to, to rather to change it from the prohibition of holding political office to the limitation of political rights based on the, the wording of section 36 of the Constitution, Chairperson. Um, clause 12, Chair, and committee members. We are creating a new subsection there. We're inserting that 1A. Um, and that is just to table a report. The MEC must table a report detailing the, the investigation and the outcome of the investigation and submit a copy to the NCOP. Um, so that's a new clause that's been inserted in the, in the bill um, on, on the negotiating mandates, Chairperson. We can go down on. on from there, please. See where we are. That's that's thanks. Thanks. Thanks to. There's another substitution. Chair, the four, five, and six needs to be read together, and there's a new subsection that we inserted there, a subsection six, um, which reads if an investigation warrants such a Step. The municipality must institute disciplinary proceedings against the person or persons implicated in the report in accordance with the system and procedures referred to in section um, 67. So, Chair, that's the, again takes the discretion away that there may be an investigation and disciplinary procedures. And just to put it there and to make it clear that it must be done, it's also consistency because the, the minister has a discretion and the, the, the MEC did not have a discretion, just to make that clear, Chair. Um, Chair, the next one, clause 13, is the regulation. It's empowering provision to make regulations, and that is just enlarged to allow also the, the new amendments and to make sure that the minister has now the power um, to make regulations in terms of those subsections mentioned there. Clause 16, Chair, is the last one. I feel I rushed the committee through this, Chair, but the, clause 16 is an amendment because what we're doing there, we're adding that B. If one look at point 2B, section 82 of the Local Government Municipal Structures Act is also now being amended uh, by repealing it. So that's why we're changing that clause 16 in the bill chair to refer not only to Act 7 of 2011, but also to number B. Um, there, those are the amendments um, that that was agreed to according to the documents that I've received last time, Chairperson. Um, I, Chair, if I may say so, there's those two issues, the definition of, um, of, 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 of secondment, Chair, and, and just maybe for the department to comment whether the inclusions and whether it works, Chairperson, because we, we got it from the negotiating mandates and, and Obviously, we'll get it back from the provinces to see whether they think it's all in order, Chair, but that, that's, the, that's my input for now, Chairperson. Thank you very much for allowing me. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Jenkins, for the guidance and the identification of all the clauses that needs our attention. Can I check from the department itself? Uh, is there any addition that you, you would want to make? 
any representative from the department? Just indicate if there is nothing so that we proceed forward without making any assumption that uh, you, you are covered. Yes, Honorable Chair. Yes, we, we are here as a department. My name is yes. Mbule Roskaba as the Acting Deputy Director General. I think the apology from for, for DG has been uh, posted. Uh, I've got uh, my colleagues, uh, Chair, Honorable Chair, Honorable Members, uh, Mr. Mushat Shrubeng, who will uh, take the lead. He is uh, together with uh, Jake Mayepa that have been dealing with the bill. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, without further ado, if there are no issues from the department, can I invite honorable members to, to comment on all the matters that were put for before us, the clauses in respect of the Municipal Systems Act. I, I think there was quite a number of issues that were highlighted that we were sensitized about. Uh, any inputs from from honourable members? I see a person with the iPhone. I don't. I can't identify who that person is. But uh, who's that? Any member who want to make some additions or some contributions? You are free to do that. In the absence of that, can I just make some few comments, not necessarily uh, the amendments. For me, this process is, is very much important. And as we have indicated in the past, it is in the best interest of our municipalities that we finalize the processes in respect of the amendment to the Municipal Systems Act. I can see that a whole lot of issues were covered in respect of the secondment, in terms of the permanency of the uh, municipal, in terms of the senior managers accountable to municipal managers, uh, in respect of the definition of a municipality vis-a-vis -a, -vis a municipal council, and all of these particular issues, the contracts that must be concluded by the municipal manager with the municipality itself or by the municipal manager and the senior manager, section 56 employees. And for me, this is quite important. I just hope that at the end of the day, we get all of this right. We we, we have a very, very solid uh, Municipal Systems Act amendment that enables municipalities to function and really achieve their own predetermined objectives. For me, this is very, very much important and we need to ensure that this particular process is driven to each final, final conclusion. And, 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 and with that, I want to really thank the, the inputs that we have received in terms of how we are sensitized about all those particular areas of work and where contradictions are, how we can go about resolving all those particular issues. In the absence of any additions, let me thank Mr. Jenkins and the team uh, to say that we have noted all that we have raised. And as we move this process forward, we will take that uh, into consideration. I think the next step in respect of this process is to, is to receive the final mandate from, from provinces. This final mandate must be the mandate that tell us exactly in precision what is the position of different provinces in terms of the amendment to, to the municipal system set. Most is that okay? How far are the provinces and at what point are we going to receive the submissions from the provinces? Can you just highlight that uh, to the committee so that we are aware? Thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, from a process point of view, 
Today, we'll send the minutes and the sea list to all the provinces so that they are able to prepare final mandates for next week. The date for final mandates will be sent to the provinces after consultation with your office chairperson. Thank you very okay. much, chairperson. All right, thank you. I just wanted you to highlight that so that we, we in unison are together in respect of the process and what is it that we, we need to do. With that, let me take this opportunity to welcome all members of parliament as well as the officials of both parliament and the department for attending this important meeting. Legislative process, the legislation making process is an important process that is technical, that is detailed. And I think we're doing quite well to ensure that at the end of the day, we are compliant. We don't leave any stone unturned. We don't repeat the same mistakes that led to the declaration of invalidity in respect of the amendment to the Municipal Systems Act. With that, thank you very much. Uh, the meeting is adjourned. You are all welcome and we appreciate the fact that you attended this important thank meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Thanks, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Thank you, Honorable Thank you, Honorable Thank you, Honorable Members. Thank you, Honorable Members. Thank you, Honorable Thank you, Honorable Members. Thanks, Ngosi. Okay, okay, Kenny. Okay. Recording stopped.